Hello, I'm Troy. Um, and today I've got a few minutes. In fact, uh, we're do, going to do Xamarin Forms and F Sharp in a minute, if anyone watches Mr. Maker. But really, we're going to take about 10 minutes. Um, you can find me at Twitter and I have a website as well. So you can get me there. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today, Xamarin Forms. Um, the great thing about Xamarin is it has allowed you to use the, you know, the greatest languages on Earth, C Sharp and F Sharp, to write um, and to use that language on all of our mobile platforms pretty much. The, the, most of the popular ones anyway. Um, on top of that, it also lets you reuse a lot of your code. So it gets rid of a lot of the purpose, like a lot of the, um, you know, platform specific stuff. Now Xamarin Forms came out with the latest version of Xamarin and that has taken that to the next level where you can pretty much write just almost completely um, in uh, with reusable code because it will say uh, you can say things like I want you know tab layout and it will say oh if I'm on an iPhone show me tabs or if I'm on a uh, Windows phone give me a panorama and it knows the, how to convert that. So it's really handy, specifically if you're just trying to get um, some very basic stuff out of the way, you can do it very, very quickly, and that's what we're talking about today. Um, but of course, we'll be looking at it from F Sharp. Okay, so it will allow you to um, very quickly come up and be the next hit Angry Flappy Slingshot Bird Prey Safari Pro version app, which is, I know, everyone's goal here. Um, and these are our goals for today. What I want to accomplish is for everyone here to tell the world how great the Sydney F Sharp user group is. That's goal one. And goal two is to give you plural site things. So that's what we're going to accomplish. Now, how we're going to accomplish that is I need you, if, I hope everyone got my email this morning, you need to have Twitter and start Twittering now. And you can, read, oh, look at that, this guy's, and if you don't, you miss out, but if no one, if it's really low numbers, we'll just hand stuff out, I think. But we will do our best. So you may have to just tweet for everybody, and we'll go from there. So if you have Twitter, start tweeting. Now, what I need you to do, there are some rules, um, is that we, you need to have F Sharp user group in there, so you have to mention F Sharp UG, and you have to have hashtag F Sharp in there as well. So your Colin, your tweet did not count. You better get back in there. Um, go again. There are no limits. So here are some example tweets. I heart F sharp, UG, F sharp. You could send that now. Do you need me to pause while you type that? No? You got that? Okay. Or the F sharp user group in Sydney makes me a more sensitive lover. You could put that one. Or that Troy guy should never be allowed to speak again, F sharp, U, G, F sharp. Or from um, George's um, thing earlier, you could go F as I bought Sprint F, Sydney F sharp, U, G, stick that in your pipe, F sharp, or your pipe operator. Um, so these are your options. And this is good too, because then F as I bought is going to also get into the draw because he will tweet, or he. I don't know that he has a gender. That was very insensitive of me. FSI bot will um, then go in the drawer as well because they will tweet F sharp UG and hash F sharp. So that is what we are trying to accomplish. Um, to do that, we're going to do it. We're going to write an iPhone app and we're just going to look at the very basics of Xamarin Forms. Um, and so I'm not going to bore us with the early stuff at the beginning, but this is how you get going. You create an empty project. Just start empty, don't come in with all the um, single view stuff. That's all you need. Ours is called Mission Spam Twitter. Um, now, you need to bring in Xamarin Forms. This is just from NuGet. Uh, and also, if you hit show pre-release packages, you can bring in um, a new F -sharp core that has the new PCL, uh, Portable Class Library profiles in it. If you do want to go down the PCL route, you don't have to if you, you can still use the old fashioned methods of shared libraries or, and whatnot. Um, but you, if you want to create actual um, PCL F -sharp libraries, that's what you need to do. And that has come about from the lovely man, Larry O'Brien. And here's a 
a long link for you to quickly get, but you can get it from the video later and we'll put it in, in, our, in our notes. Okay. Um, and then the next thing you have to do, so it's a little bit of setup while, you know, because tooling is still catching up with, with F Sharp, um, you have to manually add in um, system object model, system runtime. In fact, you're probably going to have to manually add in anything that you want from, um, from essentially .NET. Now, to get there, uh, you are going to have to, like, go through your, um, yeah, you your directories and, and find it. This is where it is for me. It may be different on your machine. So just sort of have a, have a look at things. Um, but that's it. So if you go to the normal libraries thing, a lot of this stuff won't appear. Um, but it will still work. So just reference it manually. And that is, that will form our project and we can start going with it. So I'm going to sit down now and attempt to write some code to do the very things that we wanted. All right, so we have Xamarin here. This here, I'll just, I've got um, a few things. We've got, uh, here's my app project. This is the PCL bit. And it's got a Twitter FS thing, which is just a quick little API I wrote to query Twitter. And so we're not gonna really talk about that because that's neither here nor there. What we are going to look at are our views where we're going to write all our Xamarin Forms stuff in this one place. Now, um, from there, we'll, yeah. So, and this here is our iPhone app and it has an appdelegate.fs and this is where we pretty much start. This is what we'll join everything into the iPhone side of it. So all we need to do here is, um, our plan is, I'm just gonna copy over and put some code here, is that we have to call forms init to say that we're gonna use forms and then um, just say, hey, get main view, assign it to our root view controller and we're good to go. Of course it won't work yet because we haven't populated get main view. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so um, get main view, all we need to do is return a, an actual view a, um, and everything is fine. So I'm gonna just get a basic one going and copy and paste that in. Right now it's returning unit, which we do not want. We want this instead. So we're, we create a page, something we call, uh, so which is a content page, which has a title called mission spam Twitter and um, we add that, we're adding that and pushing that page onto our navigation so that we get nice nav built in and nice titles. And then we are returning our, um, that view controller. So when we go back to the app delegate here, it is getting, um, it will get that view controller. So I'll hit, uh, I'll just hit go and it will build and hopefully there are no errors. And it will launch our simulator and we will get some bare, a very uh, empty, eventually. There it is. So here's our simulator and we've got mission spam Twitter. So that's it, we're up and running. We are running F Sharp, Xamarin Forms. That's all we needed to do. Now, to meet our goals, we need to, um, have a way to get a winner, like to, for you to, you know, you're tweeting things. I'm gonna give you plural site stuff because you tweeted. And so let's, let's look at some tweets. Let's get some tweets in there. So, um, here's some code. And I'm just gonna whack it into our view. So we'll put it at the top here. And that should line up. So we're logging into our Twitter account. Um, we're going to get some tweets based on these search items. So I'm just passing in an array. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that will get us um, some tweets. Oh, sorry, that's a, yeah, that's a, um, just a function to create some tweets. And we are adding our tweets 
here to a list view. So that list view will convert to whatever it is in this case. Um, yeah, so an iOS style one. Um, what I'm going to do is just add one more line because what we'll, we'll return here is a tweet object but let's start out and just return it to a string. So we're going to run an array map and we're just going to um, essentially concatenate the um, name and the text. So that was it. Uh, let's run that and see if it works. And provided my internet is working, um, we should be good to go. I'm getting lots of buzzing in my leg. I hope that's because people are tweeting and it's lots of notifications. Um, no, we didn't. <laughs> Nothing worked. What did we do wrong, guys? Let's have a look. So, oh, I know. Does anyone, yeah, we're not. That's, so that's fine. We don't have to bind. But what I am doing is I'm pushing the, um, we have to add the tweets view to the page. So that was a rookie error. So, um, what is it? It's content equals um, tweets view, and that should do it. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, and I need a, um, I need an, a, a comma there. So, fingers crossed, we'll get some tweets. And that will be the only error in my code today. And we'll start to see people's tweets. And we are, we're getting them. So waiting for Troy Kershaw to do something, that seems like it's going to be a rude one. Um, but yeah, we can essentially scroll down and these are all the tweets that we've received in the last little while. Okay, that's it. So now that we've got our tweets appearing and we can see them, the next thing we want to do is make them not ugly because that really didn't work. So let's um, go back here. Let's get rid of this map and let's actually do something nice with these tweets. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste a ton of code in here and we'll talk through it quickly, but it's really quite simple. I'm going to put it in an above here. It's just a, uh, a class. It inherits view cell and what we then do uh, I'm going to add a text label, name label, and an image, and we're going to sort of add all these in together. So read that as you will. But essentially what we're going to create is for each cell, we've got a, that's a stack panel, and then um, we're going to have an image here. So a nice smiley face, if that's what you've got. So we're just stacking that way. And then we're going to have another stack panel here that is going to have our um, username and our um, actual tweet. So that's what we've pretty much created there, but I didn't type it all up. So we can read it. And so that's it. So this is where we've, we're binding, we're doing all sorts of nice things. Um, and so it should just pretty much work. Um, all we need to do is update our, uh, what we're binding to. So down here we've got our tweets view has an item source there of get tweets, but we also want it to um, use the item template that we specified before. And that was it. That, that's all we needed to do. So I'm going to restart that. And while that's loading, I can get my other things ready. And there we go. We have pulled in uh, the images from Twitter. It was easy. It was a couple of lines of code and all of a sudden we've mapped that all together and we can start to see things. So we can see um, everyone's stuff. We've even got an FSI bot thing. There we go. And it's, it's all very exciting. So there are, they are our tweets. There's not enough there. There's not enough. Keep tweeting. Some more, please. That'd be great. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to have this running now and people are going to be tweeting hard. I can see everyone's got their phones out. We need to be able to reload this. So I'm just going to do that very simply. 
um, by adding in a button. Um, so there's a little bit of modification that we'll do here to get our button in, but essentially we just need to uh, here's a button, so it's called refresh button. Uh, the text is icon has tweets, and um, and then when it's clicked, we just call get tweets again and set it to the item source. Now what I'll do is I'll create a uh, a stack panel or a stack layer as it's called in here. I should use that terminology. And we've got our, we've now got a stack that is adding, essentially we're just saying it runs vertically, add the refresh button, then show the tweets view, which means down here for the page, our content is now the stack. And it should show us our refresh button. I'm getting more buzzers. It's all very exciting. And so this is here, and if someone ready to send a tweet, let me know when it's gone. Yeah? All right, so if I now hit reload, hopefully we'll get some reloading happening. No, not yet. We'll just uh, wait for this to catch up. I'll move on. I'll move on. So the next step, so that's our first, we're now seeing the tweets. And thanks for that, we've got people tweeting. We now need to give you your prizes. So if you were here last week, we did a uh, random um, thing to uh, let you do that. And I'm getting a lot of buzzing now. That's, uh, you guys are doing great. So I've got a, a winner button, um, and I'm just going to add that here. So we want stack.children.add uh, Winner button, and we're all good there. And I think that's pretty much all it needs to do something. So um, I'm using the same code that we used before, um, and I have to actually add it after we declare page because I'm using a cheap alert um, to get the message up, uh, but that's the only reason. So we're going to get a random. Um, element from our tweet. So when I hit that button, we get the latest tweets, I uh, turn that to an array, get a random error element, and um, off we go. So this is it. This is everyone's chance to win stuff if it works. Fingers crossed. I need a faster machine. Also, I'm on a demo version of Xamarin, you've all seen. So if Xamarin is watching and they'd like to give us a, uh, a thing. So we've got, I think, are these new ones? Yes, we've got some new ones. We reload, it's not really doing much. But now when I hit and the winner is, we're gonna get a winner. And so we have to give away today three month subscriptions to Pluralsight. That's full subscriptions, that's heaps better than the trials. So you could watch all three of the courses that George spoke of earlier. So if you win, come and grab those. We also have donated by George, um, F sharp pipe forward I heart um, stickers. So put that on your bumper sticker of your car or your laptop and you know wear it with pride. And we also have some other nice plural site goodies like a pen and a torch and um, some things. So if your name comes up, um, come and choose a prize. Icon has tweets, no, and the winner is, oh, it's doing its thing, George! <laughs> you can take one of your stickers back and then the net loss is much smaller. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> okay, all right, and well, let's do it again. And the winner is... me, all right. <laughs> And the winner is Don Syme. Don, come down and, and get it. Yeah, all right. And the winner is me again. See, this is how random it is. And again. This isn't, I really, I, congrats. I might get the light. The light? There we go. All right, if we start getting too much repetition, you either didn't tweet enough or we'll have to, 
find some other way to give prizes. All right, we have to wrap up. Oh, you won again. And did anyone else tweet? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Reload. Is it coming up? Reload. Yeah. There we go. Oh, are you keep winning. Killer Swan? Is, have, is Killer Swan here? No? All right. Yeah, Jeffrey Huntler, Hello, Huntley, yeah. that's you? Yay! Hey. Come and grab a prize! Uh, go for the sweet swag. Lovely. All right. So, uh, so we do need, we need that in there and hash F sharp for you to get in here. I'll reload. It reloads every time I hit and the winner is. This is getting a bit old, guys, so um, <laughs> random isn't working. So we need another way to hand out prizes. Um, has anyone got any solutions? Yeah, I do have one. Do you want to change the code to make it more random? It is random. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to rig it? That's what you're asking. <laughs> no, that's it. What it is is that it's grabbing all the tweets from today, which it, it, I've got a few in there. <laughs> yes, you can probably see. And we've got a few Dons. Um, yeah. What's that, sorry? Give it to the guys who yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. So who tweeted? Hands up. All right, come up, grab a prize. And then George has an idea for the other three. Do you want plural side? Uh, Stickers? Uh, get a, uh, sticker. I oh. Have one, so oh, okay. I you. What, what is the orange thing? Oh, that is, you put that in the cigarette lighter oh. and it gives a US. B thing yeah. of your car, and it, so that's plural site. So that's lovely. All right, that's it. Well, um, we will get, we'll hand these out, but I'll finish up my talk. Um, so basically, uh, that's it. That was a quick introduction in, I think, a lot over 10 minutes. But does anyone have any questions? No? Lovely. Great. So remember. Um, I'm Troy Kershaw and I can be reached here. Uh, I will blog about this and sort of go into more depth about the step-to-step-by-step -to, -step -to, -step to get in there. Thanks!